Hello, welcome back to Let's Build. We're building a survival games map and we're building it live on stream. So if you want to check this out, I should be streaming right now, if you're watching this when it goes live, between 5 p.m. and 8 p.m. on twitch.tv forward slash yogscast. And you can come along and basically just join me in the build of this survival games map. It's a bit of a slow project, but it's really fun to do. I wanted a way to get back into Let's Builds, and this is a great way for me to build on stream and then put together one of these time-lapse videos for you to check it out. Now, I've been putting the names of donators into the map, uh, as you can see here on some gravestones, but there's also some other things to come as well to get in uh, donators into the map in any way I can. But as you can see, this is the second island. Now, basically, we've built the first island in the first episode, which is where the cornucopia was. We built the second island, which is going to be the medieval island. And this, this island itself is turning out to be so big that I think what we're probably going to do is maybe leave it at a third island and have just three islands rather than have uh, have any more because this is turning out to be a really huge really big island with a, with a lot of uh, a lot of detail on it now we have a graveyard there that you saw me just sweep through a second ago but the rest of the the rest of the uh, the layout for this island is pretty open and we haven't decided what we're going to put where what i did do is i put down pink wool to mark off where we're going to put actual structures and now it's a case of going in deleting some of that pink wool and tidying up some of the trees because we have a few too many and, uh, and also, yes, yeah, replacing the wall with some structures. Now, the first thing I want to do is, because I've got the magical tool of world edit, that means I can, uh, I can put down a tower like this, a guard tower, and then I can copy that guard tower and paste it wherever I want. It's a great way of just copying what I've already built and, uh, and pasting it around the map without having to rebuild every time I do something that's similar. So what I wanted to do was get a really good-looking guard tower here out of stone brick. Now you can see I've used stone brick steps at the bottom to give it a kind of like a like a like a curved ramp edge. And I really think this is a good idea for whenever you build a guard tower or like a castle, is to put stone steps at the bottom, just because it makes it kind of meld in more with the with the world itself. And I used uh, the circles picture, which you can get to on Google. Just type in Minecraft circles, and you get a whole bunch of pictures that show you how to create a perfect circle. In Minecraft and so using that I built a circular guard tower that gets a little bit fatter as you get near the top and now it was time to add the crenellations now crenellation a crenellation is like you know how gears and cogs have teeth well at the top of towers you know the teeth that they have the archers hide behind they're called crenellations and that's what we're building at the top here now the way to climb up the top of this tower I was gonna put in stairs but they're a bit too tricky and honestly, in a survival game setting, I think it's more exciting to use ladders. It's a more straight up, straight down way of getting up a tower. And it lets you camp towers a lot easier, which is a pretty cool thing to do, I think. So I added wooden fence posts as well. And I messed around with a few ideas with uh, stone brick stairs and steps and uh, half blocks at the top. I trimmed away some of the bottom. But the main thing I was doing here was just perfecting this one design. This is going to be my blueprint for all the towers on this island. Now there might be one more, there might be two more, there might be, might be three or four more of these towers. But it was important that I get this one right, because this is the one that will be copied and pasted around the map. So I added a window. And another thing as well is when you build stairs around a tower, Often uh, you kind of build against the wall, and that means that you when you put the windows in, it ruins having that regular symmetry. At the moment, I've got windows that are midway up, and then a ladder in the middle. And, and because there's no stairs around the edge, I don't have to worry about where the stairs go against the wall where I can't put a window. There's some decoration up there, and some of you guys have said that the windows are kind of shaped like, uh, like daggers, <laughs> I guess. Uh, but also I'm using a few extra mods. In, uh, in this let's build and one of those mods is uh, extra NPCs or ed an NPC mod and that adds these cool banners here so I wanted to add these cool red flag banners to the tower I wanted to brace the corners here with uh, with the oak that you see there now I'm not sure what kind of oak it is I think it might be dark oak or it might be birch or spruce or something like that but anyway I've used that kind of color oak logs and some more fence posts and then I think I was pretty much happy with a design there. So I put down one pink wool, another pink wool. I dragged a big cube to copy it, 
and then you can see me skirting off into the distance and then pasting it on the other side of the map. There you go. Oh, it looks pretty good. Now, there, there are some small changes to make. When you copy and paste a tower like this, you copy everything where it was. So if the door is in one position and you copy and paste it, you might have to delete that door and move it around so that the door isn't like facing off the edge of a cliff. Now, I wanted the one guard tower on the edge that I did before, but I wanted this guard tower that I put over here to be a kind of broken down, ruined kind of guard tower with, with kind of moss and stuff growing all over it, some cobwebs and vines and things. So I pasted the guard tower and then I chipped away at it with my old, uh, my old one and twos, my old fists. I dug away some of the trees that are nearby so that I could put down some wreckage and some ruins. And you can see I replaced some of the stone bricks with moss. And just replacing some of the stone bricks with moss adds to the idea that it's a ruined old building that's just been left to, to, to rot. No one's come around with a scrubber and scrubbed away the moss and, and the vines from this building. It's just been left to overgrow. And also, because that stone doesn't just disappear, it falls off the tower, I put down some extra stone brick in the grass nearby to look like it's just fallen off the tower and landed haphazardly on the ground. And you can see what the island looks like at night. Oh yeah, we're gonna add a lot more torches than we have at the moment, a lot more lanterns and lampposts. But even now, it's starting to look like a really cool island even at night. And now with those three guard towers built, the two guard towers and the ruined tower, I wanted to go up and lay down some foundations for the main castle on this map. And what do I mean by the main castle? Well, uh, the big pink wall on the top of this tallest hill here, that's going to have a nice big keep. It's going to have a nice big round central tower in the middle. But to put down the foundations, I needed to use cylinders. And using World Edit, you can put down a hollow cylinder and that's what I did right in the middle of this pink wall. Now I calculated where the middle of the of this uh, of this cylinder was using wall blocks, and then once I once I had the middle, I built up the walls using larger and larger cylinders. But the walls aren't going to be one block thick; they're going to be about three or four blocks. Now you can see here the walls are about two or three blocks thick, and that means that we can have guards or maybe even players that walk along the walls around here. Now it's weird when you map out a blank area in Minecraft. It always seems much bigger than it actually is. I thought this was going to be an area for a really huge castle, but the truth is, it's actually quite small. There's not much room inside here for a big, impressive keep. Now you can see me here decorating the entrance to the castle using stone brick. I just chiseled away an entrance with an archway, a curved archway, and now I'm adding two central guard towers right at the entrance. And this is going to be where we might put some bells in there. We might just have it as a place where we put the guards, but I used, again, nether brick steps for the rooftops on here. And I used nether brick because it's a nice dark, or no, actually, I think that's not nether brick, I think that's basalt. Anyway, I used, I used a dark kind of brick for the rooftop on the guard tower. I copied it and pasted it. And I'm happy with that color. And I think this is the kind of color scheme that we're, that we're gonna keep with the rooftops of the castle. Looks pretty good. And now the entrance is kind of complete. Well, it's not complete, but we at least we know where it is. I wanted to add a way to get down and up from this castle. So you can see me here using cobblestone to build a nice, large, huge staircase all the way down the side of this hill. I used cobblestone blocks initially to map it out, and then I replaced some of those blocks with cobblestone steps. And you can see here a very even effect climbing up the hill. I really like that. It does need some railings though, so I'm going to add uh, a layer of cobblestone either side and put some fences on it to make sure you don't wander too far off the staircase and into the wilds. There's going to be some ruins on this island, but I want it for the most part to feel like it's a fully fleshed out mini world. So there's going to be the main castle up there, and these steps are going to come down, and that small clearing you see down there at the bottom, that's going to be where there's a very small village. We're going to put like a few buildings, like three or four, kind of town-like buildings with maybe a blacksmith, maybe a tavern, and, uh, and maybe a bakery or something. And those are going to be functional buildings within the town. Now you can see me here messing around with different types of bricks for the floor of the keep. I wasn't sure what I wanted. I tried sand, sandstone, grass, all kinds of stones and cobbles. 
Uh, but in the end, I wasn't quite sure what to go with, so I just went back to grass, and that's something we'll cross later. We'll tackle that problem further down the line. And now I'm just slowly building up the sides of this massive staircase. And then I'm going to be adding the uh, the fence posts to the side of this staircase just to make it look a bit more, you know, structured. Now, I want this kind of road to weave all the way around. That big staircase, the road that connects that to the town, is also going to go all the way to the bridge that connects us to the Cornucopia Island. But also, I want that road to wrap around the whole island and make basically make it so that it's, it's one way you can follow to get from A to B to C to D. Now, like most things, when you follow the road, it's the easiest path, but it's also the most dangerous. It's going to be easy to see, and it's going to be what people are going to be watching. So if you're looking for someone to kill another player in the survival games map, you can watch the road and, uh, and spot your enemy coming from a mile away. So perhaps the more skilled opponents are going to stick to the woods and hide in the trees. Yeah, there's a lot of space inside the castle. It's a nice circular space, and I want to maintain that feel by having a nice circular tower right in the center that's going to reach way up sky high into the atmosphere. But you can see me here adding a bridge in the background. There's a road that goes along the side of the hill and then crosses that river. But as the camera sweeps out, you can see how the island is looking so far. It's really coming up. It's really turning into a really nicely developed little survival games location. I want to work a lot more heavily on the castle itself. The walls need fleshing out. We need to add some more guard towers and the central tower as well needs to get done too. But I'm really happy and excited with how this is turning out. So again, join me on twitch.tv forward slash yogscast to keep watching this build in action, to come along, have some fun, have some laughs. We've got a cool playlist and uh, it's a pretty cool atmosphere to chill out in. But yeah, it's basically your opportunity to have your say in what you want to see in the map. Just pop a comment into chat and maybe I'll see it and maybe I'll put your idea into action. And as always, hit like and subscribe if you want to see me do more Let's Builds because I could be doing more than just the live stream build. I've had some ideas for some tech builds and, and revisiting the kingdom that we have, the old map. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the live stream. Until then, take care.